before you really start chemistry, you need to understand and be able to define some of the key terms. Today, we're going to be looking at three key terms, an element, compound and mixture. Enjoy! So atoms make up absolutely everything in the world around you. Today, we're going to be using these small molly mud balls as a model for an atom. Obviously, atoms are way, way, way smaller than this, um, but we're going to use this as our model today. What you can see that I've got here is several different types of atoms. And if we organize them into sections of the same type of atom, we can then call those elements. Now, surprisingly, there's only actually 118 elements that have been discovered so far, and you'll find all of them on your periodic table. An element is defined as something that is only made out of one type of atom. So if it contains any more than one type of atom, then it cannot be classified as an element anymore. Check out these examples. Which one do you think are elements and which ones do you think are not elements? Pause the video here, see if you can work it out. The key thing for you to realise here is that it doesn't matter how many atoms it contains as long as they are all of the same type or in this case the same colour. So what you've got is these three at the top here that all contain only atoms of one type. All of the ones at the bottom all contain more than one different type of atom. They all have multicolored molymod balls. The question you might be asking now is what do we call the three at the bottom? So the top three are elements, they contain one type of atom. The bottom three contain two or more types of atoms. They have different colored molymod balls. We call these compounds and compounds have to be chemically combined and contain two or more atoms. The last word that we have to look at today is what is a mixture? And what we've got here is one type of atom, just the red balls here. So these are all the same element, they're all the same type of atom. If I put some white atoms next to these, but not connected like the last ones were, we call this a mixture. So we define a mixture as two or more substances that are not chemically combined. So you can see that they're not really touching each other, they're not, they don't have the sticks in them showing that they are chemically combined in this case. Check out these examples here. One of them is a mixture of compounds and one of them is a mixture of elements. Can you tell which one is which? The ones on the left are a mixture of elements. What we've got here is we've got three different elements, so three different substances that only contain one type of atom. If they're in the same container, that means that they're a mixture because they're not bonded together. On the right hand side, I've got a mixture of compounds. Each one of these species contains more than one colored ball and that means more than one type of atom so that makes it a compound. Because all of them are different they have to be a mixture of compounds. If I mix all of this together that now means I've got a mixture of compounds and elements all together. So hopefully you feel more confident in defining what an element, compound and mixture is after watching this video.